Health officials are laying fears of a possible TB outbreak at Her Majesty's prison. Mm, now, some police officers sounded the alarm. However, as Janae Noel Ferguson tells us tonight, authorities knocked that down, saying there are no confirmed cases. The Police Staff Association raising concerns about an alleged outbreak of tuberculosis among inmates at Her Majesty's prison. The Central Police Station and the Nassau Street Police Station, which receives all of the inmates coming from Her Majesty's prison, where there's continuous rumors of, of TB and other contagious and infectious diseases. These two stations that receive all of these persons are not sanitized on a regular basis. Deputy Chair of the PSA Sergeant Frankie Campbell says it's one of the many challenges police officers are forced to deal with. So then our officers who are expected to risk life and limb during the day and then go home in the evening and carry these infectious diseases home to their families. Now our ZNS News sought answers on those claims made by PSA executives and according to Deputy Chief Medical Officer Dr. Delon Brennan, there have been no confirmed cases of TB at the prison but he says that does not mean that those entering the facility have not been exposed to the disease. I wouldn't say that I've heard of confirmed cases of uh, tuberculosis in the prison. There have been people that are exposed to tuberculosis in their communities and will be will come to prison. So when they are tested to see if they've been exposed to, be, to TB, you will see that they have a positive test for being exposed. But when we've done x-rays on most of those patients, we have not seen any evidence of TB. So those patients are then put on prophylaxis to protect them from going from exposed into actual cases of tuberculosis. Now, according to Dr. Brennan, given the nature of the prison population, the ability for diseases like TB to spread is high. To that end, he said preventative measures are taken. When people come in on remand or where they're actually sentenced to prison, we screen all of them. And what we try to do is make sure as much as possible that we treat them. Even before, if they've been exposed, we treat them with prophylaxis to protect them from actually developing disease. But it is something we have to be very vigilant about. And so what they may be responding to is actually people being screened for being exposed to TB, actually opposed to active tuberculosis cases. Meanwhile, Campbell says that every effort should be made to ensure that police officers are protected. Chinay Noel Ferguson, ZNES Network News.